Hey guys, it's Dev here, and welcome back to another video about Ark Survival Evolved on the PS4. And today we had a huge update drop, version 503.0, and it actually brought a few crazy things. For example, I will show you real quick. Is actually new procedurally generated Ark maps, and there is so much to go that goes into actually creating these maps, and honestly. I, like, have no idea. Like, I could probably make one, but I know there's so many more people out there, and I know there's a bunch of videos on YouTube. So if you wanted to check those out, and like it says in the warning, the procedurally generated arc system is currently highly experimental. So don't really plan on making your server on this yet and actually playing on it. But if you want to go around and just explore on how it works, I would love to set up an actual server with some cool uh, different maps like if you could base it off the center with some dragons that'd be cool and that type of stuff but anyways on top of that it switched to a new memory allocator for much more efficient memory use and this revol er, resolves any OOM crashes and creates better performance for ARC in general which was much needed because I know yesterday I was playing just a bit and I was actually riding my bird over an ocean and lagged out and actually died at the bottom of the ocean. I was able to retrieve my stuff, but it still sucks when that type of stuff happens. And it also added a, new a few new dinos, which I'll throw on screen right now and try not to butcher their names. Alrighty, so first off, we got the Cindaria. In this squid, or this jellyfish, not this squid, my bad, this jellyfish will actually drop biotoxin, which is even more potent than your trank darts or your trank arrows and stuff, so that's really useful for taming. But anyways, moving on from that, you have the Trodon, which is kind of reminds me of like a raptor type thing. And uh, this is just a good carnivore to tame and just kind of is going to make more havoc on the maps to be quite on as as bad as that sounds but anyways the next one we got is uh Tuzathesius I think I said that right but anyways this is the giant squid and this thing is just a monster and this is probably gonna be your easiest way to get some black pearls and this is really the king of the ocean to be quite honest and just if you're able to tame this have fun trying to do it but if you're able to it will allow you to do anything you want in the ocean and I guess it'll allow you to get those deep sea drops super easy. And lastly, we have the Theorosaurus. I don't even know how you say that. But anyways, this is like the giant dodo thing. This thing is just ridiculous. It's claws. And it is a super versatile dinosaur to actually have. So keep that in mind. And some of these dinos could be really fun to have. But I know they're going to take some time. Like that squid. That's a really end game dinosaur. And Cindaria, though, is definitely perfect to actually go after and get. Well, anyways, let's get on with the video and get back to those patch notes. We'll go with that. And it also has two new full-scale underwater caves. And this will help with your progression oriented with artifacts and doing all that type of stuff and getting to those bosses and whatever. And it also has... Uh, updated with everything that has the equivalent of content and functionality with PC's version 253. So hopefully you guys are pumped for this and some of the new dinos look super cool and definitely have to try and tame those. I don't know. I have a video coming up for you guys probably Friday so be ready for it. That's going to be actually reviewing a tab jara because I actually got one of those down and tamed it on. Uh, one of the official servers, so we'll see how it compares to like the Tranodon and I might have to go swoop up or swoop up an RG to show that to and showcase that against the tape jar. So we'll see. Well, anyways, I hope you guys did go on and enjoy. Make sure to smash that like button or like button because it's always good to see updates in uh, are coming just for the bug fixes, and we're getting that much closer to having this game be fully released and run very nicely and whatever else. Well, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.